Kauthar or Kausar says, can a person have any special status if they're buried in Jannatul Mu'alla or Mu'alla or Jannatul Baqi'? Why do we call Jannatul Mu'alla and Jannatul Baqi'? Any reason behind this? Any speciality of these two cemeteries when compared to other cemeteries? Of course, these two cemeteries, one is in Mecca and one is in Medina. And is there any reward for being buried there? The answer is, generally speaking, no. However, all scholars say that being buried in a place where other righteous people are buried is a plus. So Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas, Sa'id ibn, Abi, uh, ibn Zayd, may Allah be pleased with them, and they're both one of the ten heaven bound. When they died in Al-Aqiq, which is outside, outskirts of Medina, close, but it's not part of Medina itself, they were buried in Al-Baqi'. They requested that their bodies are moved and buried in Al-Baqi'. Rather than being in uh, uh, Al-Aqiq outside of Medina. So scholars say that whenever a person is buried in a cemetery where there are righteous people, then his chances of receiving dua from people passing by, from righteous people coming to visit, is far greater than if he was buried elsewhere. And this is why Muslims cannot be buried in cemeteries of non-Muslims. It is totally prohibited for a Muslim to be buried in a cemetery of non-Muslims. All Muslims must be buried in their own cemeteries. Non-Muslims cannot, cannot be buried with them. And they cannot be buried with others. It's something that has to be exclusive. Now, having said that, it is not permissible to travel from one city to the other in order to bury someone. Because there is a lot of hardship in it, and it's not part of the sunnah. It's delaying the burial for no legitimate reason. And a lot of the Muslims think that if they were to be buried in Medina or in Mecca, that is of greater reward. And this is not true. The Prophet said in an authentic hadith, والسلام, whoever is able to be buried or to be, let me rephrase that, Who's, whoever is able to die in Medina, he should do so. Now, your death is not in your hand, so how can I die in Medina? This is an indication that living in Medina till you die is highly recommended and rewardable. So the dying process in Medina would get you the intercession of the Prophet ﷺ, would get you highly uh, uh, rewarded for that. But to die elsewhere and to fly you to Medina or to drive you to Medina, to drive the deceased corpse to Medina, this is not part of the Sunnah. There is great hardship upon the family of the deceased and there's, there's no reward in it, none whatsoever ever that is mentioned in the Quran or in the Sunnah. So in a nutshell, being buried there is not of great reward. Those scholars say that the more righteous people are around you, the better it is for the person buried there. If you are in Mecca itself and you select to be buried in Al Ma'la, then this is uh, uh, okay, no problem. If you are in Medina and you request that you are buried in Al-Baqi'ah, then this is uh, fine. Why is it called Jannatu Al-Mu'la or Al-Baqi'ah? I have no idea. This is only found in the subcontinent. The Arabs, the Muslims here, they've never mentioned any such a word with the graveyard or the, with the cemetery like uh, is mentioned here. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.